phone cut off, ran out of memory. So like I said, next one up, diving right back into the, what Hoppa just sent me. Good people over there. This is Tavern King. From what I understand, it's a mix between two recipes of two different beers I did. Tavern something and Kabasa King. I know that one. Haven't had any of them. But this is a Tavern King. Sick, sick artwork. Pizza, pizza. Holding a fork with a sausage. A kielbasa. And he got um, a crown and a boxing glove. I like it. Cartoonish, but very real. I like it. This is a Citra, Vic Secret, Mosaic, and Nelson Hop Double IPA, 8%. ABV, canned on 411. Today is June 9th. Super fresh. Taste and notes. Candied mango. Crisp white grape. Dank berries. Um, so, like I, you could already see, I already snapped and went. I went through the whole thing not realizing I wasn't recording. So I'm just going to recap. Up note, uh, the up front, I wasn't getting much. I was getting more in the can than I was. It was real subtle out of the glass. But it was like a citrus peel, zest, slight hint of it with like a sweet, earthy bubblegum smell. That, that was the that was the most I was getting from it. Now in the taste, can't go too crazy. I need to picture this. I'm getting, I mean, loads. Now listen, loads of Welch's white grape. And then behind that, there's like this tangerine. High C makes like a, I think it's high C or juicy juice. One of them. They make a um, a tangerine drink. I love that. Little secret when I make uh, my tanger uh, Ridge's uh, special tangerine milkshakes with vanilla ice cream. I throw a little splash of that tangerine juice in there. You're welcome. Um, that's what I'm getting. I'm getting that. I'm getting the white grape, Welch's white grape, with that tangerine juice behind it. Absolutely works. It is so juicy. I'm I'm I'm, I'm throwing this with my man Matt. <sighs> juice bomb all day. So covered that. That's the beginning of the sip. Very low carbonation, just a, a little kiss of it in the, uh, right after that juice. And then that tangerine drops out. That white grape juice tra travels from the beginning all the way to the end. That's that's the end scene. You ride out with that white grape, the white Welch's white grape drink. That's the flavor you get. It's a little more... It's light-bodied for an 8% from them, especially from them. It's real thin and juicy and wet, like like real like the texture of juice. That's what this is, because like I said, not everybody wants a thick, creamy New England IPA all the time. So this is something different from them. I like it. I like what they're doing. A nice change. I would consider that a change up. Like I said, I never had the 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 version, the two versions that they mixed to make this. I'm just judging it straight off this, and it's real, real texture of like fruit juice. That's the texture. Real wet. Coats real good, doesn't stick around, it's not heavy and weighs down the palate. It's real wet, clean, crisp, moves out. Boom. Next sip. Very low, low. I mean, bitterness. I'm not really getting any bitterness, to be honest with you. It really is tastes like juice from start to finish. There's a little hint of some earthy hoppiness in there. So subtle, so little, so minute. That little tiny kiss of bubbly in the middle of the sip. Everything else is white grape drink that I get from beginning to end. Like I said, creamy mango, I'm not getting that at all. I'll throw that one out. Crisp white grape, 100%, like I said, beginning of the sip to end. Dank berries, fake phony and false fairy tale in. But none of that matters because this is a damn fine brew. Super tasty. Something I would recommend, rebuy, seek, and buy again if I saw one hundred percent. It's an absolute great change up to like a thick, creamy, hazy New England IPA. You want something a little more. Say you're outside, it's sunny out. You want something a little more thin, wet, and juicy, and that's it right there. Fruit. It, it, it works all day. That white grape drink kicks you right in the nuts in this one. Does not let go the whole sip. It's grabbing the sack and holding on for the ride. 
they hit they did a damn good job on this. I ho I think that's what they're going for from what besides the creamy mango and well I throw berries right out, but it is what it is. I think it's fantastic. I think they did the damn good job. It's not the best I have from them, definitely not the worst. I'm so glad I got to try it. I would love a four pack of this one hundred percent. If this is something I can get locally, I'm going to buy it tomorrow maybe. So that with that being said, I want to say thank you so much. So, so much to the damn good people over there, Hot Butcher for the World. I would lock this one in at a 425, absolute solid A minus. Highly recommend. That's all I got for you. Alex, this is for you. Till next time. Peace.